Okay, now let's talk about the stochastic oscillator, which is a momentum indicator comparing the closing price of an asset to the range of its prices over a certain period of time. It's this one right here. You can see it. And we can go to the indicators tab on the top. Drive stochastic. You're going to see it right this one is the first one. Okay. So what we're going to look for here is a cross right here of the blue one going on top of the orange one that's a bullish sign okay and if you go and see the blue one going under the orange you're gonna see is a bearish sign so every time you see those crosses you see how the market dumps here and then it crosses up bullish sign we got more strength coming into the market now everything that's in between this purple line it's going to be a regular trading range. Anything above, it's going to be considered as an oversold. Okay. And everything under, it's going to be considered, I mean, overbought, over. And everything under, it's oversold. Right. Okay. So you want to take a look at this and utilize this almost as seeing it as how much fuel the price has to keep moving higher or lower. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, this can stay in the over overbought zone for many days if it wants to. Okay. Which is what happened right here. It stayed overbought and the price actually rallied all the way right here, all the way up. And then what happened when we got a cross down right here? And we got a nice little dump came down because it's losing it was losing power it was losing fuel you can look at it that way now we can also utilize this as divergence we can look for divergence in the price and the indicator so for example here we actually got a nice bullish divergence because so you can see the price is actually trending down. Okay. But if we look at the stochastic, it's actually trending up. See? We're actually going up. Which means that strength is building up in the market. Okay. As you can see right here. We take this and draw a trend line. We've also actually broken this resistance. Okay, we broke it and now we're retesting it. Okay, so we can keep an eye on this and actually utilize this as confluency with our trading strategy that the market is getting ready for another move up because the stochastic is telling us that we're gaining momentum. We're gaining momentum here with the, with the market and we can see another move up because of that. Okay, the same goes as a bearish divergence. If you see the price moving up right here, and then this stochastic actually going down, then we can see it could be a possible bear bear move right here, which is what happened. See right here? It actually have been trending down. It was right after this. And they were trending down over here. So you want to keep an eye on those things. This will be the fuel of how much power the market has at the moment. So we can actually stay overbought for a while, like you can see here or here. We can come down to the regular trading zones, but then go back up because the market regain momentum and strength. We can stay oversold as well. Okay. So you want to keep an eye on those two possibilities.